Okay, we finished this lap diner part here and we've just finished we finished this lap diner part these two are still printing we're waiting for them to finish they're kind of close and then I'll restart all four of these at once so they'll finish up tomorrow about the same time when I come down here okay I just started these other printers these two are just now finishing up they'll be finished in a minute and we'll switch them out okay these have just finished printing so I've removed the parts we've restarted this one we're going to restart this one okay we get these reprinting see how they do I've talked a lot about the lap diner and I've shown you these different parts that we print for the lap diner and the different colors and so forth but unless you went back and looked at an old video you may not know exactly what the lap diner is or how it works so I'm going to give you a quick demonstration Okay, the demonstration of the lap diner. This is the way the lap diner comes. It folds up. It's about the size of a small book. Fits in the backpack, easy to carry. Has a strap where you can carry it or buckle it to a belt or something. But when you take this and it, let's say you're going camping or hunting or hiking or whatever, you can always find a rock or a log to sit down on, but it's hard to find a place to put your food. So what you do, you just unbuckle this thing, open it up, and this buckles like a seat belt. It's uh, very easy to buckle together. So again, it's just like a seat belt. It buckles and unbuckles. So what you do, you put this around your leg, and buckle it. Then you take, like you do a seat belt, you pull that strap tight so it's tight. Then this little piece here swivels out. That's your cup holder. And then that will hold your drink. And then you can, if you have some chicken and some beef jerky or something, you put it on the tray. There are little edges around the tray there, so. You don't have to worry about these parts sliding off. They're held in place. This thing's very stable. It'll hold the weight of several items without tipping or shifting. And like I said, the drink holder it holds coats, water, cans, cups, and so forth there. And it has this little edge around here to keep the parts for your food from sliding off. Now you can also use this if, let's say, a student in school eats off of it, but they also may want to lay their tablet down on this, or a book, or something that they're writing with, and it gives you a good workstation. So it's a very portable, simple way to have something on the go where you can have a surface to eat on, or work on, or study on and also a secure place for drink holding. It would work good at a football stadium or a little league baseball field where you're up in the bleachers and you don't want to lay your, put your drink down or you get knocked over or something. And it's not going to get knocked over here. You know, it'll stay in there and stay secure. Then when you're finished, you just pull this up and Close that in, reach underneath here, unbuckle it, fold it up like a book, take your straps, buckle it up, and you're ready to go. So that's the lap diner, and basically a quick demonstration of how it's going to work. And those things, that's why we're printing this inventory now, 
we're going to have those going on the website. And the brown one, I like the brown because I think it's more of an outdoors look. I think it would be a good device for hunters, campers, hikers, kayakers, anybody that's in the outdoors and out there for an extended period of time where they would want to have something like that they could slip in their backpack. It's very lightweight, so it's not going to be that difficult to carry. These are almost finished. So like I said, I'll be finishing out those lap diners. We're printing three colors right now. No, we're printing four colors. We're printing red, blue, red, copper, and brown. Yeah, the brown, the red, copper, the blue, and the red. And you can see there, here's several of them up here that we've printed of these different ones and they'll kind of accumulate up here for a while and then I'll take them next door to the assembly area where we'll get them in the queue to be assembled. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors.